بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما إنك العليم الحكيم اللهم أخرجنا من ظلمات الوهم وأكرمنا بنور الفهم وافتح علينا بمعرفة العلم وأسهل أخلاقنا بالحلم اللهم ارزقني نعمة الإخلاص لوجهك الكريم بكل ما أقول وبكل ما أفعل آمين يا رب العالمين My topic today is a short talk about abdominal compartment syndrome Abdominal compartment syndrome is a life-threatening clinical state of increased intra-abdominal pressure. Radiological diagnosis is difficult and usually raised when a collection of imaging findings are present in the appropriate clinical setting or if the signs on sequential Image study are seen to progress. Diagnosis is usually clinical, supported by elevated intravasical pressure, which closely parallel intra-abdominal pressure. Intra-abdominal hypertension sustained pathological elevation more than 12 millimeter mercury, grade one. Intra-abdominal pressure 12 to 15 millimeter mercury, grade 2, 16 to 20, and grade 3, 21 to 25, and grade 4, more than 25. Abdominal compartment syndrome sustained intra-abdominal pressure more than 20 millimeter mercury and the new organ dysfunction or failure. This is a medical emergency. As we said, is defined when the pressure is more than 20 millimeter mercury with dysfunction of at least one thoracoabdominal organ. Clinical representation of abdominal compartment syndrome patient with one or many organ failure due to elevated intraabdominal pressure and have direct or indirect effects on the major body systems. Most patients will have abdominal distension. Patients have multifactorial disease and injuries and an abdominal compartment syndrome is particularly associated with sepsis, acute respiratory distress syndrome, hypovolemic shock, systemic inflammatory response syndrome, multi-organ dysfunction, and the patient usually severe ill and in intensive care or intensive therapy unit, and the clinical present with massive abdominal distension and urea, progressive oliguria, oliguria, despite of adequate cardiac output and increased difficulty in mechanical ventilation. The etiology, we have a primary causes due to trauma, surgery, pancreatitis, rupture, abdominal aneurysm, mastitis, pneumoperitoneum, and we have secondary causes due to burn, sepsis, and rapid fluid resuscitation, and uh, radiological features, they are overlapping of the several CT and sonographic signs that may support the diagnosis, but none of them are specific or sensitive for abdominal compartment syndrome. Ultrasound, we have reduced diastolic uh, 
flow in the bottom hepatic and renal veins and also hepatic arteries as we see here color to block ultrasound with elevated uh, or with no diastolic flow in this patient and there is initial diastolic flow is seen and in another patient we have uh, a liver transplant with elevated hepatic artery resistant index with reversed diastolic flow as we see here. <laughs> CT of and the brain frames shows elevated diaphragm around the abdomen giving the appearance of uh, around belly sign, hemoperitoneum flattened IVC and renal veins, displacement of the solid abdominal viscera, mosaic liver perfusion, increased bowel and gastric wall thickening and enhancement due to shock, gastric distension increase in ascites of over subsequent scans, bilateral inguinal hernia and hemoperitoneum, pulmonary basal consolidation collapse with or without blood diffusion. Here we see patient with scout film performed three days after liver transplant shows elevated left hemideaphragm as we see here and a collapsed IVC as we see here and in severe ascites filling the abdominal cavity. And the uh, pressure here is a 21 millimeter mercury. Here another patient with a motor vehicle accident, as we see a large hematoma. Hematoma here, collapsed IVC, and the spleen is non uh, enhancing due to severe injury grade 5 and large hematoma pushing the stomach posteriorly and hyper enhancement of the uh, bowel wall due to shock lung. Here another patient with uh, hematoma, large hematoma here and there, and the IVC is collapsed, and the IVC is collapsed, and elevation of the right hemidiaphragm at the level of the heart, as we see here, and uh, inhomogeneous hematic batchy, hem batchy hematic enhancement uh, with the grade five, uh, liver injury and the pressure here is 32 millimeter mercury. Here another patient with severe acute pancreatitis and we see elevated of the hemidiaphragm as we see here with abdominal distension and we see the collapsed IVC here and a large amount of pancreatic ascites. Here another patient with colonic perforation or with a large amount of uh, tension in pneumoperitoneum causing uh, compression of the intra-abdominal viscera. Here another patient with uh, round belly uh, sign due to toxic mechanical colon causing compression of the bowel and the renal veins and the IVC. The treatment and the prognosis uh, of the abdominal compartment syndrome, uh, mortality rate about 60 to 70 percent, and the treatment is aimed to reducing the elevation into abdominal pressure and perfusion of the affected viscera.
complication uh, organ failure like uh, renal failure, ischemic bowel, respiratory failure, and hepatic failure. Thank you for listening and hoping to see you soon in another talk. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Ashadu an la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik.